Hello and welcome back to Dark Lair. I'm Harry and my character's spazzing out for some unknown reason. Uh, gonna be honest, I can't remember what I did last time. So I'm probably just gonna. Oh. Oh, that's right, the May, game crashed. 1839. I think we've read that. Because I forgot that the game crashed the last time we played it. So, hopefully it won't crash this time. If it does, I might not be able to do this as a let's play. Or as a whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's in the box. Let's uh, bottom up. Nothing. Nothing. And we already checked in there. Nothing in there. Um, we just came in from that way, didn't we? No, we didn't. All right, so let's just let's check this one out as well. What the fuck was that? No. <laughs> um. Nothing in there. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong bloody way. So, empty. Not empty. 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 No. 17th of May, 1839. My I think we've read this one as well, so I'm going to skip this as I well. Some men and ventured into the dark. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path Actually, emerged into a this. great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped. See dun, dun, dun. Oh, dun. Okay. Fuck these books. Fuck them. Fuck. Okay, so this room's unexplored yet. Oh, piss off! A book fucking fell over. Let's <laughs> ban this nice day out. Oh no, it's so scary! I'm gonna put that down and light that. Because that's what I should be doing all the time. Is uh, oh I can't throw these. I can throw this. Whee. Okay, let's get out here. Uh oh I remember this room was what we were in last. Oh what now? What's be oh my god, this is this what you speaks you out? My guy's a bit of a wimp. Open this, even though I know I've opened it before. Just so I know I've been here. Uh, been there. Been there. I'm just following the left wall now. Empty, empty, empty. Won't open, it's locked, okay. Where's this one go? <laughs> Sorry, that was more stomach. I'm really fucking hungry in this place. Hmm. Oh, it's dripping. I'm, I'm tempted to say a period joke. <laughs> God damn it.
Okay. Anything in this room to throw about? Apart from books. Oh, hello. Treasure chest. Fucking treasure chest. Oh. Flashback. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Right now, right now. Okay. So basically, there's this shadow thing that's gonna destroy everything. Basically. something at it. Oh, a rock. Yeah, of course I can. Yay! Sanity restored. Nothing. Nothing. Tenderbox. Nope. Nope, that makes me drunk. On it, it says Jack Daniels. The 17th of May. Oh no, it was mushrooms. Mushrooms is what was written. After pounding out the giving stone wall, after one it seemed like an eternity. I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground. Oh no, I didn't die, did I? Didn't die, did I? Focus. That's when I saw a faint blue oh, no. okay. shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry. But I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, weakened body was heavy to carry. That's funny, because I'm walking it exactly the same as usual. For me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it. Precious! 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 The glow escaped my fingers. I began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible Oh, just goes. Desert the escape. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to see. <laughs> it was that! Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most... What the fuck is that thing? And are you drunk, my friend? You must be drunk, yes? You have been here for many hours. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful. That's why you always wear a condom. Hoik hoik. Fuck's sake. Oh, journal. Okay. What's new in the journal? Daniel's note to self. No. 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 Diary, nothing new. Memento, nothing new. Well, there probably is, but it doesn't matter. Because Memento is ain't worth shit. I want to break in and read the... Yay! <laughs> oh my god, that worked! Oh, that's a highlight of this game. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I've got to read this one. Outstraden Benningberg Castle, 18 near 1. Another rich region, which rich with law in Austrad, deep within the East Persian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with the scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear of the proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should try and indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting 
entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some Moffits that keep reappearing. Motifs, not Moffits. I don't even know what the fuck a Moffit is. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of 30 years war. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and describe them as horrific relevance. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to gather shit like fucking hoarders and follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Yeah, like a hoarder, but fucking creepy. It is their prey which can be hard. Hard, that's what I meant to say, not hard. I was going to go hard to catch, but apparently they're fucking easy. Heard struggling inside damp bowl-up sacks. Dragged by... <laughs> that sounds like... Oh, God. Damp bowl-up sacks. <laughs> oh, God. Dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Is this Nazi strikes back? A visit undone. Henry Ch calling us a bridge. How many are there? Okay, there's two more. I'll read them. The well known Herod visited Astrid as the part of the 16th century. As going into glue, but also Borak. I don't know why. He. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay of the prominent oh no now I've turned into Spanish housewife. <laughs> Members of society paid Oh no now shit I am ting tong shit and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a borough in the northwestern glades only to be never seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in noble, some great noble, fuck knows, some years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visit. Oh shit, now I'm gonna fucking compare to me a cat. Fucking voice. And buy a car insurance. Although I'm slightly Spanish because I wasn't meant to be doing any voice. That wasn't a voice, fucking hell. Which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? <coughs> Compare the meerkat.com. The Baron? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg, fuck off cat, lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby. Austral, and like most of the noble birth rumors are inherited, blah blah blah, I actually can't be asked to read it. So pause the video if you want to read us, because I can't be asked. Um, so this door? Cat! It's open, but it's locked. Um, okay, so we got to find that ticking, basically. Okay, so the ticking's going off. I don't know if this is time or getting the right one. Cat! Okay, so there's one. Maybe that's just a loose book. Um, there's two. There's oil, so I don't need that. There's the third. 
Yay! I'm going in here, guys! <laughs> Bye! Um, pick up the key. Oh, wine set of key. What? I'll look at what happened in a second. Regarding closing of the wine set, Wilhelm and his fools have engaged my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trustworthy, my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Benenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wines are oh shit, we just let them out. Or we're about to let them out. The wines are dead, they will therefore be sealed off. Oh no, they'll be dead, won't they? Never mind. Will be sealed off until the matter has been handled. I am also the Prince of Canada. Ha ha ha! I'm sorry to any Canadians, it was just a South Park thing because I've somehow accidentally done another voice. Even the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first. They can all rot for all I care. Ha ha ha! Queef. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Or well, not if you were moaning about them being drunk and coming into your fucking room. Unless you're literally just locking up because, oh, they're a bit of a cunt. In which case, you're the cunt, mate. Oh, can we knock that off? I wonder. Come on. Swing. Swing the chair. Four! Hup! Oh, shit. Missed. There it is. Oh, I got the chair stuck up there. Okay. Now to go to the wine cellar. So wait, what crashed? Oh my, lamp ran out. Bugger, okay. Oh, I need it in here. I've got enough as well. To light it, so it's fine. Oh, that's what blocked in, okay. So we need to find a way to get through all this. Um, is there anything in here? New. Uh, oh, journal. They're probably just going to say about the, yep, new way out of the area. <laughs> Nothing in there. There's probably nothing in here, so it's probably in that other room unless it's something there. I was trying to press a mirror, but I picked up the book instead. Alright, so there's a second way out, and it's probably through here. Oh, I wanted to smash more glass. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Oh, well. Okay, that actually got me. What the fuck was that? Let's just get out of here in case there's actually an enemy. Where's the bloody exit now? No, not that room. Is it. A player, I think. <laughs> uh, I should be laughing at that because this man scary. But it was gone. It was done, the man said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Hin Man awaits Green Toothless Foreman. Tin Hin Man awaits Green Toothless Foreman. A what? What the hell is that? Oh, this red shit. The wet reed, weed grew. 
Actually, we will unlock this door next time. So I'm just gonna put it in this thing so that we don't fuck up all our sanity, even though we're slightly fucking up now. So until next time, this has been me, Dark Claire, with Amnesia. Goodbye. <laughs>